Play action on first down. Coker will take a shot. Ridley. Holds it in. Three in the backfield. Henry. That's easy. Pure muscle. And Alabama strikes first. Coker. Downfield shot. Howard is wide open. Makes the catch. Running free inside the 25. Colhoun drove him out. For a 10-point lead. And he knocks it through. Alabama bodies breathing heavily from the 12. Cook takes a shot. Picked off. Jones along the sidelines. And Cook with a crucial mistake. As the time, pick him off for the first time with six seconds before halftime. Burbridge makes a big play, the play before. Chris, that is textbook. Coker. End zone, Ridley, jump ball. Incomplete. Edmondson was battling him and made the play. King, there's Mike pros. Defee. After further review, the receiver got his right foot down in the end zone with possession. Touchdown. What a play by Calvin Ridley, the freshman. What are you going to do? Mark Barger backed up to his end line here. Gets it away quickly. Jones is driven back. It's a nice punt, but he's got room. Cyrus Jones with a crease to the sideline. Still running. Touchdown, Alabama. Seven yards in the tide can smell that title game. And they begin to feed Henry now. Nope. Lane Kiffin still wants a play action shot down the field. Ridley running free. Got a touchdown. Second. 50-yard connection between Coker and Ridley tonight. I know you'll be ready. <laughs> that wasn't what I was going for. As Drake gets the edge and shows the speed in the Spartan territory. Cuts back. Still running. Kenyon Drake dragged down at the 10 by Colhoun. He keeps it together. Henry cuts it back. Tries to bounce it. Gets past Calhoun. Headed for the end zone. Another touchdown for the tie. The second for the Heisman winner tonight. Here's that stiff arm. Look at him push away Calhoun. That is a big man at 255, 260 pounds. He just throws him to the side right there with that, that stiff arm that's becoming legendary. Wins is almost anybody in the country in the last three or four years. Five 11 win seasons in the last six as Cook flips it down. It down. Who's mobbed by his teammates, the senior, with his first pick of the season. Wow, what a catch. How about him going up into the air, making the play, and then getting his foot down? Look at Kirby Smart's trying to make a play on the ball. He's over here. Nick's right there. Oh, he makes the catch, gets his knee down for the interception. Blanking the Spartans. Alabama bullying the Big Ten champions and booking a spot in the national championship game opposite Clemson in Glendale a week from Monday. Emphatic and dominant. It's good. Saban's reaction with Tom Rinaldi. Tom? Chris, thank you very much. You reached this stage a year ago and didn't get the result you wanted. Why was it different tonight? Well, I think the players learned a lot from last year's game, and, you know, they, they looked at it like they just wanted to participate in the game. I think today they wanted to do something a little bit different and, you know, sort of kind of try to take over the game, and I think we did that in the second half. So much attention focused on Derrick Henry during the weeks leading to this game. What did you learn about your quarterback tonight? Well, I, I think the way they play and the way that they played us, that it was going to be different. 
difficult to run the ball, so we knew Jake was going to have to throw it and do a good job of it. And he did a fantastic job of making some big plays. And, you know, our receivers did a great job of getting downfield on their safeties. A shutout speaks for itself, but I'll ask you to speak for your defense. How would you describe their performance? Well, they played well. You know, two minutes before the half, we wasn't great on, but uh, we intercepted the ball down there. But, you know, we did a good job today. I think the rush, you know, affected the quarterback some, and we did a pretty good job of covering him for the most part. You now face number one Clemson. Dabo Sweeney's fond of saying, bring your own guts. What will the tide bring to the national championship game? Well, you know, we'd like to enjoy this game for 24 hours, but, you know, Clemson's got a great team. They're undefeated. Uh, they've got a great program. So, uh, you know, I'm sure our guys are going to be motivated to, you know, try to do the best they can to play the best they can in the game. And it's a great opportunity for them. And I'm just proud as hell of them for getting to where they are and doing what they did all year long since the Ole Miss game. What are the chances we'll see a smile right now? Well, we got another game. I told you. Come I told you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Let's go to Heather. I, knew I don't know how to follow that, Tom. We are definitely going to smile over here with Jake Coker, the winning quarterback. And, Jake, you grew up dreaming about being quarterback for this team, but you had quite a detour to get here. Went to Florida State, then came here and, and had to sit behind Blake. What does it mean to you to be the quarterback of this team, knowing just how long and how hard it was to get to this point? Uh, it means a lot to me to, to play quarterback at Alabama. Like you said, I, I pulled for him all my life, and uh, the thing that makes it even more special is this, the group of guys that just came together and, and everybody plays for each other, you know. And there, there isn't one guy that's not happy about how we play today or, you know, not happy they didn't get the ball. Or It's just uh, it's a special team that, that I couldn't be prouder of and, you know, couldn't ask to be a part of a, you know, better group of guys. And Jake, talk about seizing the moment. At what point tonight could you feel, could you tell that this was going to be a special night for you? Uh, well, you know, right when the game ends, you know, we win, and, and I, I couldn't be happier, but, you know, this, this game doesn't mean nothing until, you know, after this game we're playing here in a couple days. Coach talks so much about how things really changed, especially for you. You won this team over after the Ole Miss loss. How did this team change and how did you change to help you guys get to this point? Uh, I think we all just came together and, and started playing, you know, better team football. We understood what we had to do to, to get where we are right now and, and uh, everybody did a great job of doing that. And, and uh, like I said, you know, it's just unselfishness and, and guys playing for each other. And I love it. The back of the hat that you were just handed actually says one not done because you've still got a lot to do. So oh, yeah. you face the number one team in the nation in Clemson. What's it going to take for you guys to be one and not done and cut and keep this momentum going? You know, just got to keep the focus that we that we had in preparation for this game. Uh, you know, I know they're a great team and, and uh, you know, I didn't get to see the game today, but I heard they played pretty well. So, you know, uh, we, we respect them and, and everything, but we just got to, you know, be focused and play our game certainly a great matchup that we're certainly looking forward to. We will see you in Glendale. Congratulations. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, Chris, back to you. Now, self-proclaimed country boy, very proud of the hunting and fishing trophies that he's collected. Starting to pile up some pretty important football trophies as well as Jake Coker. And Alabama with an emphatic statement, a shutout of the Big Ten champions.